Never Wait, did you tell him that you were gonna put an ant in there? Uh, what? He, what? You put an ant in that right now? There was a live ant in that. No, you're fucking. You didn't crazy. taste it. A fire ant. What? I put a little live fire ant in the drink. From the To The Moon Creative Podcast Studio in Nashville, Tennessee, we are Infinity X, giving a stage and microphone to human excellence. And today, we are on the block with Hala Marak. Hala Marak is in the building today. What's up, Hala? How are you? Hey, hey Hala. Hey. What's it's up? Great. Thank you for it's having me. <laughs> incredible to have you. And ladies and gentlemen, we are Infinity X. Replay, we are InfinityX.com. We are Infinity X YouTube. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. And as always, I am joined by partner to the program and my brother, Young Gray, what is what up, up, my dude? How up? you doing what's today? What's going on? What's going on? This Great. is a pleasure. I'm excited to have Hala on. I hit her up. I'm like, Hala, you got to hop on. She's like, all <laughs> You're right. you doing a podcast now? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what she's is been, he doing? She's you know? been my day one from day one. Ooh. So, um, so uh, I'm excited to have her on. This is going to be a lot of fun for right, us, awesome. for sure. That's awesome. I'm excited to unpack that. Again, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, we are Infinity X Replay. We are InfinityX.com. We are Infinity X YouTube. So, Hala, it is it is just incredible to meet you. I have, you know, spoken with you on the phone through Dave a couple of different times. But um, I always kick it off saying that you don't know where you're you're going until you know where you're from. So just if you could, just share with our good folks out there a little bit about you, your background, where you grew up, and how you got into uh, the business that you're in now. Yeah, so um, first and foremost, uh, I'm from Queens, New York. Yep. Um, I come from a first generation Egyptian and Moroccan family, a Middle Eastern family. Wow. Um, so happy Ramadan to anybody who's celebrating today's day shout one. Out, absolutely, <laughs> shout out to Ramadan. Happy Ramadan, everybody. Happy yeah. Ramadan. So excuse my low energy. It's really just because I'm fasting. You know, gray nose, I'm usually like, <laughs> yeah. <you know>. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I hail from Queens. I live in Staten Island now. Um, I went to high school and college in Staten Island. Um, and I got into the uh, radio and entertainment media industries um, about nine, 10 years ago. Um, I started in the radio space, working for pretty much all the big platforms, um, doing everything that everybody didn't want to do, basically. That's how you get your foot in the, in the door. Sure. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, shout out to iHeartRadio and the family there, Emmis, um, who owns like Hot 97 and stuff, um, Sirius XM, um, literally all of them. I was just kind of all over the place trying to get my foot in the door. And then, um, in the midst of all of it, I was hosting events. I was doing everything, um, you know, to kind of keep my ears to the streets and um, get into an artist. I'm also a free form creative myself. Mm. Um, so I kind of get it like from both angles. Um, and about five years ago, I realized just us in like this dream based or lifestyle and, you know, just that on the go, like looking for that big picture, looking for that big breakthrough. Like we can make all these headlines, but then at the end of the day, it's like self care is at the very bottom of our to do list. Mm -hmm. um, yep. So that's kind of why I created the Badass Bootcamp brand, which is my wellness space. And um, it's literally geared towards like the on the go individual, you know, like us. So. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, mm -hmm. right after this, I'm heading there to do yoga. So that's <laughs> trying to find yeah. trying to find balance. <laughs> <laughs> that's incredible. That's incredible. And um, what was the first like real big break that you had in radio? Right, like you know, because I mean, I I. I, I don't have any idea about how challenging that it is to really make it in that space, but I've heard that it's like it's the one of the more competitive marketplaces that there is. And you shout, you just shouted out iHeartRadio and you know Sirius XM and like big, big, big names. What was yeah. your first shot? Um, well, it's funny because when I was working at all those stations, um, and the interesting thing about being in New York, as you guys know, is it's a huge 
it's a, it's an ocean and and we're all yeah. like these little fish chasing the same thing. So my big break literally came when I got an opportunity to finally be full time on air in North Carolina. Ooh, um, it was right. a station called Foxy ninety nine, and it was the number one station there. And so I really got to build my name as a personality. Up here, I was able to really just kind of do the background work and, you know, um, just hope for a shot because it's kind of like musical chairs and yeah. Funk Flex isn't going anywhere. And you Andy know, Andy Funk Flex is not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. yeah, hell yeah. Shout out to Funk Flex and Angie. I've been listening to them since 93, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, exactly. I, that's where I came up. I was probably five when yeah, you were listening were. to it. Exactly. That's why they call, they call me old gray, you know? <laughs> 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 um so yeah so it's been a, it's been a cool experience like kind of coming full circle and being back in new york um and in the last 10 years the, even the radio space kind of like has transformed you know as you see you guys have a podcast everyone can kind of create their own platform and um so now you can find me on um a, a fox soul which is a tv and um uh, just the digital space, you know, um, and I'm on Kitchen Talk with mm. Mayno, who is a, a pretty well-known Brooklyn rapper. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, you can catch me talking about shit there. So it's been Ooh. a journey. <laughs> Joke yo shit, yeah. baby. <laughs> yeah, all we see Holla was like, yo, Holla, you were with Lala today? Yeah. Or yeah. <laughs> like, no. yeah, yeah, you're... You with Fabio four in today? I was like, oh man, holy crow! <laughs> so you see, she's she's doing it on a high level, which is yeah. great, and and yeah. it's always good to have like her because I'll I'll call her for advice like through everything. I'm like, Holly, what do you think about this? She's like, uh, I don't know, like 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 send me something else or whatever. Right? Yeah. And then I'll yeah. get like real like actual like solid feedback, not like people that will just toot my horn and stuff like that. Yeah, you um, need that on the team. Yeah, 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 you have to have Well, that. truth be told, Holla, when we were driving down to this uh, this studio a few weeks ago when we had uh, Robin, right? Yeah. We called you, right? Because, mm -hmm. you know, one of the things, you know, I it, one of the things that I find really, really interesting, I'd love to dig in this with you a little bit, is like, like making a podcast interesting or making a radio show interesting is, is freaking hard, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's, it's mm -hmm. you know, you can't just be funny. You can't yeah. force that, you know, or you can't just be controversial. You know, mm -hmm. people like sniff that a mile away, you know, so we called we called you to get some of your guidance and your input on how to make that interesting. I think it worked. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But, no, but, yeah, I think you had asked me to play a game or something, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, holla. I'm like, what sort of game do we play? Like, I know there ha and we're going to play a game later on today again with Dave or whatever. But um but uh, we called her to get advice to see what you would come out with. Yeah. And, and um, because we had no idea. We're like, what the heck should we do or whatever. Right. Yeah. But that's why Hal is the best PR in the game. The best PR in the game, why not? Absolutely. <laughs> is because you need advice from that. You know, but from, but from that standpoint, I mean, you mentioned Funk Flex, you mentioned Angie Martinez. I mean, those are two of the legends of the game, you know. But Hala, as you were growing as an interviewer and I'll call it, I'll say an entertainer and all the different things that you're doing, who were some of the people that you modeled after? So some people that I've modeled after uh, honestly weren't even just radio personalities. I like to consider myself like a hyphenated woman. So mm -hmm. um, people like you just mentioned Lala were people that I looked up to or like a Karen Civil, you know, people who like they did have platforms where they can talk their shit and, you know, meet people and they're around the who's who and best friends with you're probably your favorite rapper. But um, they're also known for like connecting the dots and making things happen and being like shapeshifters and and be able being able to work a room, you know. Um, yeah. So I feel like that's really my passion, like connecting dots and like making things happen. Happen, like watching things grow and that's what I get to do with Gray all the time he, he I love that he comes up with these like huge elaborate ideas and most of the time it's something I might have never done before but it's like yeah. I, I'm sure we could find somebody who does something that making can make this happen like you yeah, know, yeah, so, yeah 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 so that's and the how, fun part to me and <laughs> how did you, how'd you two connect like, um did, did, we've been I've been with Hala for pff, probably like <laughs> since before like be, like in the beginning stages of young gray like before yeah. young gray was even young gray yeah i was with holla um, but he's being modest though because at that point he already had a song with snoop dogg so <laughs> yeah 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 like beginning <laughs> stages kind of, a big of, deal. Yeah. Of, of of young gray yeah. yeah but um yeah so like me and holla been working together f for a while at, and and holla came up to nashville 
Okay. We did like a whole shoot, everything. Um, probably how long ago was that? Two years ago or whatever. We did um, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, two years ago, I made them do the hot sauce challenge. Oh. So first thing they okay. come into my house, I have all the hot sauces like laid oh out. God. I went to Hattie B's yeah. and we got all of the hottest chicken. Yeah. So like hot, like uh, double X hot, hot yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then like triple hot. Right. All of us are in the kitchen dying, sweating. <laughs> Our throats are closed. Yeah, yeah. The camera guy, uh, Michael or whatever, is like passing out. No, no. No. So the camera guy, Michael, he, um, where's Michael from? From Haiti? Is it? Mm -hmm. Is he Haitian? Mm -hmm. So he's from Haiti, and Michael is eating a triple X chicken like it was like, like there was no <laughs> like, really? there was no sauce and he's like oh licking his fingers does he have not like taste buds or something like that or he's like no this is nothing like where i'm from like you don't understand the heat yeah. and we're like holy <laughs> shit. like mint like dumping milk down our throats like holland oh like her boy uh her boyfriend rick we're like dumping milk down <laughs> oh my god it was, do you it, remember how hot that was how I'm like a hot sauce person, so I just feel like when I got it, I was like, "Oh, he, what does he know about hot sauce?" Like, you know, like I can, <laughs> we can, we can get through this. And then somehow it just became like this, like badge of honor if we can get through like <laughs> one whole piece. Like it was yeah. really, 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 really hot. I've never had um, chicken like that since. Like, yeah, I, mm -hmm. and I don't plan I, on it. But no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I joke around with Gray all the time. I'm the biggest wuss on the earth, right? Like I'm a lightweight when it comes to alcohol. Like I have two, yeah. and I'm like over the moon. <laughs> and like, but anything hot. I catch on fire. Like I have one bite of it. And so obviously he plays pranks on me all the time of, you know, getting me to take, you know, shots of things or, you know, something super, super mega hot. And I'm just like, I, I'm, I'm check me into the hospital, essentially. You, know? <laughs> you gotta get him back. Yeah. You gotta get him back. Somehow. I'm plotting it. Trust me. Trust me. It's gonna one be day. <laughs> one day. One day it'll happen. I'm gonna beat him in cornhole. That's what it's gonna be. You know, yeah. I'm, I, right now I'm about 0 and 25 or oh something. 25. He had me like 16 to like nine I and did. then I made a I run. Know. I know. Which was pretty brutal. Yeah. <laughs> So Hollis, so tell me some new upcoming stuff that you're excited about right now. What do you got going on? Mm, so, you know, I also do music. So I've been in the studio. Um, I've been working with a bunch of new up and coming people too. Um, new York is in a good space right now. Mm. Female, DJ, female DJs, artists, personalities. I feel like we're like winning. So really? there's I a love lot it. of really good momentum. Um, you know, we're throwing a lot of cool events coming out of COVID. It was weird to find like, you know, that space. Like it was yeah. like, what's cool right now? Like, do we even want to see each other? Like, you know, it was just like, you <laughs> yeah. know, like we, didn't, we couldn't really figure out like what's like how to be social. So I'm cool that people are like out of that space. And now we're really doing some, some big moves again. Um, and things are just changing too. Like I said, in the, in, in the platforms, space like so mm -hmm. um i'm waiting on the next season for fox soul um i i'm trying to work on like opening a new location and upgrading the store so it's just business as usual you know I, I feel like it's just we're just keeping the momentum going um i'm also on dash radio we just um interviewed nle chopper comes out oh it just it, that that interview just came out mm. um, wow. and so yeah we're just wow. moving. <laughs> how how is that how is he he seems like a cool dude yeah he is he's spiritual too like you know just very into his like energy and um you know just keeping himself healthy and right so we connected on that um but it's cool because he also has that ratchet side and you know <laughs> yeah all that so i just feel like we kind of um click in the sense of like we it's a spectrum it depends what day you catch us on <laughs> mm -hmm. so i got i got a weird question for you and i, I probably never asked this to you yeah. but out of all the people that you've interviewed or talked to which person have you ever felt like some sort of like nervousness oh like on an interview like holy crow i'm interviewing this person yeah um nervousness is weird after a while like you know you're just kind of like you're more trying to get like the good interview out of them you know yeah. so it's more about creating the experience I, I don't even have time to think about like the fan in me mm, um, yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but some of the biggest people that i interviewed i remember i'm like i have to nail this that's where the nervousness comes from 
um, would be like Tracy Morgan in the last season. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tracy like, Mor know. Tracy Morgan. I gotta tell you. So before I did music, anything, I was in security sales. And then and then I want you to complete this before I forget this train of thought. Okay. So Tracy Morgan, I sold him an ADT security <laughs> system no way. in Annandale in really? New Jersey or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And this was the day before cell phones. So he had a key fob. So he lost his key fob. Okay. No. So I had to drive back over to his house with the new key fob. Okay. Ironically, he was pulling out of his driveway. Yeah. And he pulls out and he smashes into his own car with his other car that he's driving. <laughs> so he gets out of the car and he's going nuts. He's like, oh, mother, it's yeah, yeah. But, but I walked up to him and then I, I couldn't help but laugh because it was so funny <laughs> to witness him hit his own car and then get out freaking out. Freaking out. Because <laughs> like his freaking out was hysterical. So he's like, you think this is funny? I'm like, in all due respect, this is pretty funny. <laughs> then he's like, you know what? It is pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely someone who can laugh at himself. Like he, he's definitely somebody who like, even during the interview, we're talking about serious stuff. Like, you yeah. know, like he just went and got into that accident a few years ago, all these I remember. Like, really serious things. And like, you know, you're, you're here with prepared to ask like hard hitting questions and he's laughing at himself. And he's like, you know, kind of like steering the conversation. And at that point you're just like, all right, yeah. Like maybe I'm taking this too seriously. Like, you know, <laughs> you gotta let them lead, so. <laughs> so Tracy Morgan, who else? Um, I think interviewing like personalities was, is, mm. is also very like um, challenging to me just because it's like, I feel like they're, judging me from a professional standpoint. They're just like, yeah. I, like how she asked that question, how this, how that. Um, but fangirling is tough. Like, I, I think it's like, for me, I, <laughs> I really separate the two. Like once the camera turns on or the mic turns on, I'm just like, okay, like I'm doing my job. But um, maybe like when I'm like in the green room with them or whatever, like I'm secretly like, yeah. okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, right. yeah, let me get it, let me get it yeah. together. Like, yeah. um, I remember Fat Joe, like, he's, like, a huge personality, like, mm -hmm. huge I've heard. personality, I've like, heard, yeah. you know, um, yeah, so, like, people like that, um, maybe, like, a Dave East, because, you know, as a girl, I'm like, oh, he's cute, like, I'm <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 Dave East, but, is, I like Dave East, yeah. When and 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 kitchen soup like how did that all like kitchen talk kitchen talk excuse me how how did that all evolve like like what where where that you know like what was the evolution of it and like what was your vision of it when you started it so um it originally started with Mayno himself during covid um he was just doing it on um IG live remember okay. everybody was living on IG live IG live at that point yeah mm -hmm. for sure yes yeah. so um he was just having these conversations with his peers and, um, you know, it kind of took off from there. Like he was getting those numbers. Then he realized um, a lot of my audience are guys and I need more female energy. Mm -hmm. And so he brought on um, the other co-host, her name is Georgie, um, but she's also um, a bit of like a tomboy. And then a year later, the producers were like, okay, um, you and he had another co-host, which is his best friend, but he ended up going to prison. Um, so free Ricky. Um, so they free Ricky, but he, mm -hmm. it was him and Mayno and then the other girl. And it just kind of felt like they weren't even letting her get a word in. So um, they were like, okay, well, we need somebody she can kind of bounce off of. And that's where I came in. Um, they heard of me through word of mouth and just seeing the work. And um, I had seen Mayno, you know, just around at the parties and stuff like that. Um, so we clicked pretty instantly. And, um, you know, he welcomed me into the studio, his home and all of that. And we kind of just kind of been killing it ever since. Kind of like you guys, it's like that one piece was missing and then it just kind <laughs> of like takes off. So that's exactly. um, mm -hmm. I really that's appreciate sick. that experience. Yeah. You know what? You know what Mayno's favorite answer was uh, uh, at school? Uh. All the above. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all of the you, above. <laughs> you know, you know, like you know when it has like A, B, C, or D, D, all the above. Well, that was usually E. You know, yeah, like, D, yeah, D, yeah, D yeah, or E, was, all yeah. the above. Uh -huh. Like yeah. his, he always would just check all the above. <laughs> well, you got a one in yeah, five I, shot. I, I've never heard that one before. I'm gonna say that to him. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just came out with that right now. That's because I'm a comedian. <laughs> hot, hot, did you did you react at all to um like the the most recent uh, Chris Rock? Stand up, like when, like especially like that that segment where he was talking about Will. 
Yeah, I think um, he went a little overboard. <laughs> but, but, yeah. but listen, he got smacked in real life. So I just yeah. think like once that that happens, it's it's all, you know, all things is fair. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I really, really liked, um, I don't know if you watched Marlon's um, stands up, but he speaks about the whole situation from a standpoint point of being all of their friends and yeah. the conversation really kind of comes full circle because it's like when you hear it from Chris Rock's standpoint you're like I don't know like you kind of deserved it and you know you're still kind of doing the same thing so maybe you should get smacked again yeah. but um, yeah. <laughs> um and then from Will's standpoint it's like damn you apologize to everyone except Chris Rock so yeah yeah <laughs> yeah <I know>. um, <laughs> You know, so I seeing it from the outside looking in, it's like I think Marlon kind of like said it from what, everything that we all were thinking, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's worth a watch. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I, Chris I, Rock, I will tell you bro. that Chris Rock stand up <laughs> was hysterical. It was bro. hysterical. Yeah, but there were a couple of points where I'm like, Oh my god, like he didn't really just say that. Yeah, it you was know? pretty, and it you, was I pretty watch, raw. Dog. I didn't even watch the whole thing. Like I watched the clips on Instagram. So, you know, that narrative is always a little um off. I gotta I gotta mm -hmm. really watch the whole thing to make a real judgment, but everything <laughs> I was watching, I'm like Yeah, it was hard. It, 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 it was yeah it was for real hardcore. i mean because there was it was like nails on a chalkboard at a couple of points yeah. like yo and, yeah and he's like the one spot he was like what he tried out for muhammad ali right you yeah. know i did pookie <laughs> yeah yeah exactly he's you know? like he was like what did what was the he was a lion yeah. i was a i was, I was a, like a zebra, zebra or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God, that was freaking unbelievable. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are Infinity X. Shout out to Hala Maroc. Oh, wait, time out. No, 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 no. Just replay out. weareinfinityx.com. Smash that like button. All right, no? so here we go. I, I just let in with, um, like, Will was a lion and Chris Rock was a zebra. So I think we should play a game. Oh, Christ. Yeah, we're going to bring out the lemon <laughs> juice again. Lemon <laughs> juice, shout out to Kroger. Shout out to Kroger. Shout out to Lemon Juice. Dave Shot Glass we're bringing out. <laughs> what we're going to do a game called Queen of the Jungle. So I just brought out the animal. So it goes perfect segment with this. Her background, it looks like it could be a little forest. A little jungle-ish. A little yeah, jungle -ish. Yeah, so absolutely queen, with the plants over there. Queen yeah. of the Jungle uh, uh, is what this is called. Hala, I'd like to thank you in advance for this. You know? <laughs> so we're going to do... I mean, I'm just gonna watch this play out. And by the way, look how big he's making these shots too. I mean, this isn't just a tiny little bit of freaking lemon juice, ladies and gentlemen. This is like freaking like three quarters of a shot of that shit. It's not bad. At least so, he's not alcohol because he could probably drink you to the ground. Oh, dude, drink. I've seen it first. I know he yeah, can. Yeah, 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 yeah. He can. Yeah, he yeah. handles it. He handles it. Yo, I know. Tala. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, Dave, let's just put it like this. Dave is a white claw guy. I am a <laughs> shout out to white claw. Shout out to he's white claw. Ma he's not mad. <laughs> he's not meant for for the Jack Daniels or any of that. He's a white claw guy. <laughs> yeah, I got no. I got no comeback for that. You know. All right. So the the rules of this game super easy. I'm gonna um I'm I'm gonna give you one hint. Like I can say one word or uh, um as far as like uh, an animal goes. So like I'll do like one hint and then you have to guess which animal I'm going with, okay? <laughs> so it's 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 going to be pretty pretty easy. Okay. So we're going to go first one. Okay. Written <laughs> <laughs> and what hidden. The hell is this, bro? Are you freaking kidding me? All right. So first one we're going with I'm gonna get in. The, I may sound silly doing this, but I don't care. You, I'm gonna be an animal for a minute, like when you're acting in front of the kids and stuff. Yeah, is how it's gonna be. Okay. So my first one's gonna be raw. Okay. A lion. <laughs> Let's see. Are, are you for real? First one is a lion, people. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so of all of the, I mean, that could, yo, I mean, that could have been any animal, though, dude. I mean, that could. No, which which animals are known for that? <laughs> Go ahead, Dave. <laughs> Thank you, Hala. I appreciate your uh, animal your animal skills there. <laughs> 
come on. All right. Between, all right. Um, a few. Well, yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> all right. Bottoms up. All hey. right. Ready? Good job, Dave. <laughs> Good job, Dave. Up. Oh! Oh, my mouth is like what? It's like water. Right All right, now. I'm gonna Why flip you it up. Have water next to you? That's, no, that's cool. I don't. Not that's uh, they, these guys are. The next I'm one, next one, abused. I just wrote. Oh. This is gonna, this is gonna trick it up a little. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna switch it up yeah. again. Pretty big. Ready? Yeah. So Harry, have have at it. Here, yeah, Dave. You are not an honorable man, bro. This is. The, <laughs> All right. Mind well, you, me and Gray are both Capricorn, so we have telepathy too. Oh no! <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, that that really works in my look. favor, Holla. Really, seriously, thank you. I would have wish you guys would have warned me about that ahead of time. All right, so <laughs> my next clue for the second <laughs> animal. Get Jesus. this, Dave. Watch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> are you shitting me right now? <laughs> my next clue. <laughs> 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 was that really a second remember, clue though? That was not a second clue. So remember, um, jungle, jungle. Tom, no helping. Tiger. That's, I'm out. Tiger. I'm done. I'm, 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 I'm off. I, I, I can't. I get really for real. That is like, come on, come. Oh, that, 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 that's not possible, bro. Go ahead. Like we got my we, spirit animal dressed up. Okay. Go ahead, Dave. Okay. Well, you know what? Shout out to the spirit animal. Shout out to Tiger's <laughs> Bengal. I'm gonna start calling you Bengal from now on. You know? Oh my God. Uh, uh. All right, Dave. You're, you're killing it today. You're uh, killing it today. Today oh, is your day. Oh boy. All right. The next one. There's no way she's gonna get. Hopefully, this doesn't give you heartburn. Oh, uh, instant, like right now. Like, <laughs> like, I'm on fire. Remember we were talking about chicken? Chicken got nothing on this, man. All right, I'll give you a smaller oh, shot. Woo. I'll give you a smaller shot for this one. Oh, you thanks, bro. Upcoming. Appreciate that. And then the fifth one is going to be the biggest. Super. Awesome. <laughs> Super. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, come on. All right, that's All smaller. Right. Half. Yeah, this I is, definitely uh, want to okay. be on the show when you get him back, though. No yeah. doubt. Like, yeah. get, do me a favor. Get one wrong because he's got to take a shot. If he, you know, no. Come on. No. What? All right. My uh, third clue. This one is gonna be different. I'm gonna go with. What could that be? A bear. <laughs> a bear? It can't be a bear. <laughs> no. No. It's, no. It's a bear. Oh. <laughs> Lion, tigers, bears. Bears, oh my. Lion, oh my God. tigers, and bears. Oh, God. Go ahead, All right, babe. man. Holy oh, Christmas. Okay. There's only one more. There's a, is it one more, right? Just one more? No, you got two more. Come. Okay. All right. Uh, two more. <laughs> All right. It's getting. <laughs> All right. So the next one, since those ones were really hard, the next one I'm gonna make relatively e easy here. Like my whole tongue is like watering right now. You know. All right. So this one is gonna be an easy oh one. God, I need rollies. If you All have. Right. What? Is your tongue no, tingling? No. Oh, totally. Like I can't, I'm having a hard time feeling it. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it's like watering nonstop. All right, so we got oh another God. one, right? So this one, this one I'm, is gonna be relatively easy. I'm gonna go. With, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we have See, to throw was a one easy one. I mean, that easy was a, one. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you just lay it? Why don't you write it out on camera <laughs> for it? You know. What is that? <laughs> a monkey. A monkey. <laughs> yeah, I could have guessed that. I should have been the one to guess that. I mean, come, of course. <laughs> Did of you course. do it? I mean, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, it's my God. <laughs> you know, uh, it could have been a gorilla. It could have been a, well, no, then it would have been a, like, you know. Yeah. 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 All right, I, I, my money was on monkey right there, too. You're I mean, good, uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Hala, this is to you. Cheers, bottoms up. God All right, bless and then you. the okay. last, <laughs> last one is going to be, if she gets this one. Oh, my God. 
Uh, uh, this one I'm actually going to make oh. hard. Shout out to Kroger and lemon juice. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're working that sponsor. Ooh, at least good fresh lemons. Not <laughs> fresh lemons. Oh, All my right. gosh. So this, better this be good for me. animal that I'm going with for the final animal yep. is an animal in the jungle that nobody really thinks of or gives respect to. But does a lot of work and cleans up the environment, takes care of the little Sounds things. Sounds like a very respectful animal. So, like, in this case, it eats a specific type of um, insect. All right. Shh. If you, hold your guesses. So, imagine an animal in the jungle that has a little, a long, like, a longer snout, kind of. Oh, come And it goes. On. <laughs> And sucks up a specific insect. Great, please never do that again. Just for yeah, I mean, I, for real, seriously. Oh my god, <laughs> and that, that was too vivid for me. You know, <laughs> what do you um, got to go with? Oh wait, we got to make this a big shot. Oh, super great! <laughs> this is it. This is the last one, though. This, this is the last hurrah. Yeah. Um, Lemon juice um, is extremely. Is, we were gonna switch places today. He was he was gonna have me take the shots, but then I was like, "No, nah, I don't trust you guys." And a pastor, so, <laughs> yeah, uh, I know. Yeah, yeah. Really, for real. It only, I'll be the brunt of. Oh my god, this is bad. So this one, there's no way she's gonna get it. All right. I, I did I, give out some actually good clues. Idea, my money's on Hala, bro. Do you? My think, money's on Hala. Do you Holla. think you know what it is? Yeah, I do. You think you know what it is based I, off I, of I, the. Uh, off of the off um, of the performance that you just gave here, uh, no, any okay, like, like, are you down, kidding me? <laughs> write down, write down what you think all right, all the right. animal is. Okay, all right, hold on a second here. And then if Dave gets it right, then I'll take a, a shot as okay. well. Okay. There you go. Shoot and score. All right, I'm not even Gu looking. Guaranteed. All right, guaranteed. what do you got? What do you got, Holla? See, he's being nice because he just should have let you um, guess Roar. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Then I would have had a better shot. But you know? I'm going to go with Ant Eater. Ant oh, Eater. No! It is. Oh, dude. Oh, I said Aardvark. <laughs> I said Aardvark. Oh, Aardvark. No. An Aardvark. <laughs> wow, I thought you were going to really get it right. I, I was you know what? I was thinking Ant Eater, but I said Ant Eater. What the hell is an Aardvark, bro? I what believed is, in you. I know, I, Jeez, Dave, I gave you an opportunity. See, I'm, not a, I'm a Gemini, so I, I gave have you no an opportunity to get out. Telepathy, of what's. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Not. Replay, <laughs> yeah. we are infinityx.com. We are infinityx YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. Cheers to all of y'all. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my God. It never gets old. Ah. It, ne it never gets old. Wait, did you tell him old. that you were going to put an ant in there? Uh, what? There you put an ant, ant in that right now? There was a live ant in that. No, you're fucking... You didn't taste it? A fire ant. What? I put a little live fire ant in the drink. You're lying. I'm lying. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I, was to, like, I was about to just projectile vomit all over our studio here. Oh my god! I'd like to thank. Uh, yeah, so I'd like to thank you both for an amazing experience. Um, I, I mean, thank you once again for. You're welcome. You know, being an unintegrous person because yeah. I know there was something going on there between the two of you I'm sure <laughs> but um wow that, oh, I'm, I, I'm trying to recover here that was yeah so holla so up and coming <sighs> stuff I know we got you for another Woo! like minute or so we, we know you got a roll Woo! so up and coming I'm stuff sweating. and the and the backtrack the stuff that we've done me and holla just so you guys know so She's been with me through the whole ride a camp that we did, yep. that we brought on Danny. Danny. That's how that's how I met Danny, was through her, and he won the ride a competition. Yep. And we ran that uh, contest, which was massive. And it was massive, especially on the East Coast. And then we went all the way through Lucky Walk and everything together. Can't feel my tongue. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, I'm sorry. So, like, cool. so, the future, so future stuff, yeah. like behind the scenes and all that, Holla will be helping with the Robin S and the Fetty stuff and all that, that upcoming, bro. upcoming stuff, which yep. is going to be great. So we'll probably yes. have to get Holla down here to Nashville again Incredible. and pull her on the podcast here. No doubt. 
no doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love to do yeah. this live. <laughs> I mean, how like I yeah, and and so like what I mean in in terms of in terms of like going forward. And I don't mean to switch it to like serious or anything like that because, you know, but um, what's next for you? Like in, from a visionary standpoint, like what is the next step in the, and what you're going to, how you're going to continue to make your mark in the entertainment industry? Like what, 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 what are you visioning as like your next big boom looking? Um, I think that really the next big step is um, locking in my own show. You know, a lot of the mm -hmm. times I'm um, somebody's co-host. Um, when you see me on camera and I just think like it's time for me to put my best foot forward for myself You know the same um, energy. I give my clients. It's time to really do for myself on the music side um, I can see myself writing for the likes of like Rihanna or like a Jesse Reyes or Sade I heard she was coming out with a new album um, Heck You know, yeah. I, that's that's where the, the dreams, you know, that's where the dreams lie. I um, started this cool practice and I encourage anybody to do it um, with my best friend and once a week we um, we do this thing called magic hour right okay. and during magic hour we operate as our future selves so we don't do this the, you know sometimes when you think about like for example gray wanting to put out a song you're like oh we have to have a strategy we have to you know how can we do this and how can we do that but during yeah. magic hour I'm just hitting up Jay-Z and hoping he answers. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> yeah. I'm, just, I'm getting to it. And, and it's actually been working out. So I, I really recommend this for all my manifestors out there. Um, and uh, stay tuned. I, I can't really say too much. Uh, I want things to kind of get locked in first, but um, a lot of cool things on the way. <laughs> Ladies okay, and gentlemen, yeah. stay Hell tuned. Yeah. This is stay Holla tuned. Maroc on the block with Holla Maroc. This has been... <laughs> crazy dude you know mm -hmm. i mean i just I, I thought i knew i didn't know holla you are a mega star you're a mega power you. everything everything about what you're up to i just love i love the energy i love mm -hmm. the vision i love everything about what i heard today and dave you want to give us some parting shots my brother yeah i mean again uh you've been my day one since day one and it's gonna stay like that for the next forever so i'm yeah. always glad to have you in my life and and uh one of my one of my best buds and uh, and I'm glad uh to have you on the show but most importantly I'm glad to have you as a friend so oh, amen to um, that. you know I love you always so yeah likewise likewise and tell Chris and the kids I said what's up I'm glad uh, well, I'm sure she's happy that you have this outlet to act crazy and yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah 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 exactly she, she's my uh, she's my number one fan but we <laughs> you get him out for a little while you know <laughs> I bet <laughs> but uh, Hala I can't thank you enough for sharing the Infinity X stage for uh, the last 45 minutes it's been a blast and just everything that you're up to like I said is incredible and um, you know I can't wait to co you know I see you in my future and I can't wait to co-create with you more Moving forward, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Hala Maroc. You get her at On the Block with Hala Maroc on Instagram and all the other spots that she is just blowing up the scene. Replay WeAreInfinityX.com. We Are InfinityX YouTube. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, we're going to keep rocking with you. We're going to keep bringing unbelievable talent like Hala Maroc every mm -hmm. single week. So shout out to you, Hala. You're incredible. And uh, we'll catch you all Love on you, a, Hala. another episode of We Are Infinity X. Peace. Peace. Thank you. Yes, follow me at Holla Maroc at the Badass Bootcamp at Infinity X. I'll be back. <laughs> Woo! Heck Love yeah. it. Awesome. Woo!